talk about the Excel Skills for Business Essential course, which is offered by Macquarie University, Australia, Sydney. Okay, so today we're going to talk about week three, which is basically formatting and the key concepts of a spreadsheet. Okay, so I will go through every single quiz, practice quiz. Uh, you know, there's a practice quiz after every lesson. So I think you need to know about all the quizzes. So that's why, first of all, we will see about the quiz of formatting. Okay, so the first question, what does this and this sign means? The one is means upgrading the size of font and the other one is degrading or decreasing the size of the font indicator. So this basically increase, increase and decrease the font size. Okay, this will be the answer. Second question. Uh, before you can format specific cells, you must first select them, obviously, true. Okay, so when you choose which font you are going to use for business report, which of the following should you consider? Okay, so this will not be the answer. Okay, so the answer will be readability, your company's preferred font. This to be this two will be your answer. Okay, so I have selected all four of them. I don't know why, but your personal preference and whether the font is freely available or not is not the correct answer. The correct answer will be readability and absolutely the company's preferred font will be preferred first okay so what do you want to need what do you want to do first in order to change the font of your entire spreadsheet select all the data of your worksheet and then change the font okay so next question you haven't been given any direction by your boss regarding formatting which of the following options are likely appropriate for use for a business report one or more answer okay so this is the Arial. you know Arial is the most basic font sometime calibri also became the most used but we prefer arial over calibri font and times new roman which is also known as the official font so we should focus on arial and times new not one apple century century is not the one okay so we are going to our next quiz which is on borders okay so we are going to see the questions of borders the first question to add borders to a large block of data just select one set one cell of the data set is it true or false it's absolutely false because you spot it the only selected cell border will be modified if you do not select all the data set the, all the border of the data set will not be modified okay so which border option should we use to get this result because you see there's a double bottom border so the double border on the bottom so this would be top and double bottom border okay so the next question how do you remove borders while minimizing changes to data if you are unsure head over okay so click on the cells go to borders and choose no border that's the easiest way okay so this will be your answer we are going to our next quiz which is about alignment tools you know what alignment means align alignment of the data okay so push in shipping how do how do, did they make this collaboration among the cells okay so get a you get a heading exactly like this in the middle of several columns which tool you use you will use this this is called merge and center alignment center and merge okay uh, which of the alignment options below match the text in the screenshot horizontal alignment left and vertical alignment center that's it because you can see this is kind of left left not the right okay the text entered into the cell doesn't fit and part of it was cut off which of the following will make the text visible without affecting the layout of your report wrap text in that case you can use a wrap text that's a very useful option for the fitting of your data and next quiz is our format painter which is very important for our spreadsheets so we are going to going through the questions the first question which of the following formats doesn't uh, does the format painter copy okay the format painter copy one or more answers uh, okay so the font size you can format painter did this they modify the uh, format uh, painter modify the font size also font type and number font number format uh, border cell background fill text all of this i think they have already mentioned all of the uh, format painter functions okay so next question Shen has just created a great looking table and has decided to format one of his other reports in just the same way what can he do he can do just he needs to select the entire worksheet select and single click on the format painter and then click on cell a1 for the first cell of his new worksheet and then just it will be done okay what are the new brand banded rows and how can we create them okay so banded rows are alternative in colors to improve readability of spreadsheets they can be set up by manually filling uh the background of one row and then the other row and then next one with no fill so that's how you can do with this oh i think we left another question right there's four question of them okay so what happens when you select a section of your spreadsheet click the drop down and select this first option it will clear everything of this entire spreadsheet nothing will be left right okay so format painter uh format painter has done so number formats Okay, so number format is basically, especially all is all about numbers. So number format is very important. So Shen applied number formatting from cells D4 to D10. What formatting did he apply? He applied the percentage. 
and decimal place okay so Chen made some more changes to the number format to the office data what format did he apply in column B okay this is column B okay he changed the number format to long date okay what is the main difference between accounting and the currency number format in Excel if you are not sure you can go through that okay uh, the main difference between accounting format and the current is a currency symbol right uh, which is uh, aligned in the left and which is not present in the number format there is no currency sign okay <clears throat> Okay, so we are going to our next topic, which is styles and themes. Okay, so theme and style will make your spreadsheet look more more attractive. Okay, so the color setting in the cell styles of the home button can only be changed by selecting Excel themes. Sorry, that's not the option. You can also change them by creating a new theme. Okay, so choosing different theme will override all previous formatting faults. They will not override. When changing the theme on any worksheet in a workbook, all sheets will be affected. Yes, they will be affected. Okay, so where's our next topic uh, our next topic is style and theme now we are going for a practice challenge you can practice this uh, this is very helpful for you so we are going to our final uh, final assignment right uh, there's also something this is called video graphics okay so we are going to test our skill you can say I got 88.66 percent marks which is really not highest mark but if I should try again I could get 100% but I, I don't like this okay so my initial score is not bad I think according to the questions okay so Sean want to make changes in cell B2 right B2 the whole cell uh, then but every time he clicks in cell A1 it becomes active cell list so what can he do he can he can select all the data from A1 to B2 and then he can merge it right by using then uh, alignment tools you can merge it right okay so we are going to download our assessment sheet and this assessment sheet or will help us to go through all our homeworks right so enable editing don't forget to enable your editing because there's so much task they have been told you to go though so the first question uh, in heading the row one has been formatted what size of the heading okay so for checking out we will go to in row one right okay so in row one they're talking about this one the format is you can see this is 36 okay so the answer will be 36 okay so our next question which alignment option has been applied in the heading row okay so when you click on this you can see the alignment is center and bottom align okay so the answer will be margin and center there's also the alignment is written here you just see and just click the answer margin center will be your answer okay so which formatting options have been applied to the cell a3 so directly go to the cell a3 right okay so you can see the options of so there's a difference between formatting option and alignment option you can see there is a section called alignment and this section is called formatting okay so when you press on this you can see the bold italic okay and the size is 11 and the font is calibri okay so the option will be bold italics so there is no if you select the middle align that will be a wrong answer because this is an alignment option not a formatting option so there's the uh, twist of this question here so we will go to our next question the date b3 has not has lost it lost its formatting we should apply a long date format okay so we should go to b3 right there's the uh, portion b3 so it's lost its formatting okay so you can go to format and just select long date you can see our date is just edited now it's showing that it's saturday january 6 2015 okay so the day is saturday it's already written here okay our next question what percentages in t9 and t10 also have the wrong numbering format so we need to change them into correct number format along the rest okay so t9 and t10 they both are in a wrong format right so we need to select that and general right 0.95 and 26 okay so this is also not showing the perfect so we can choose percentage but when we choose percentage the number is also going to the previous so we can select number instead okay <clears throat> okay so the question is what is the value shown in t9 right now okay so this is 93 percent okay so if you select you can see the answer is 0.93 which is equivalent to 93 percent right okay so the answer will be 93 in cell style which cell style has been added to the cell c38 and u38 Okay, so we need to go to C38 and U38. Okay, so we can see. Okay, C38 and U38. So the, you should again go to the questions. The, what is the name of the style? Okay, so when you press here and press on your cell styles, you can say, you can see. Just press here, right? Press here and again. The cell style, you will find that this is the style. When you press on this, the style is changing. So title, our style name is total, right? Okay, so don't change your style. Just write here total. That will be your style of the form cell. Okay. So the next question, which of the following formats has been added to B3, right? When to B3 again? B3. So, so you can see the border line is bold, right? If you click here and just format, go to your formatting, then you can see. 
so the answer will be thick bottom border because the border is thick right okay so the next question which alignment option has been applied to the headings in d6 is to d6 okay so we need to go to d6 d6 and hold along d6 so which alignment is made here so you can see i have selected margin center which is not the correct answer so we need to look at here which is center and bottom align okay so you can see the options wrap text vertical text rotate text up okay so which will be my answer you can see the text are vertically placed right they all are vertical so the answer will be vertical text so i have selected margin center which is totally wrong so you should select vertical text because that all the text are from d4 to d10 are in vertical position okay <coughs> which alignment option has been applied to u31 go to u31 u and then 31 right okay they are talking about this okay so the options is center rep text marge align when you Based on these, you can see there is the option already popped up the wrap text. Okay, so that's the answer. The option will be wrap text. Okay, so we are going to our last question of this model test. The S38 cell, they're talking about S38 and increase the number to decimal places to three. They're talking about we should place three digits after the decimal. And what will be the value now? S38, right? So S38. Okay, so when we are going to increase our zeros, right? Okay, 30.867, we are now showing three digits after the decimal. So the answer will be 30.867. So that's all from week three. Hope you enjoyed week three and don't forget to get full marks.